This video will go over the push to talk identification feature of the Baofeng radios. On the left we have a radio scanner which will be receiving the audio and on the right is the Baofeng UV82 HT. The, um, there are two types of identifiers. The first type is a signal code and for that I will be using alternating digits. The second is the ANI number. For that I will be using the digits 1, 2, 5, 3, 8. For the first test we will be using the push to talk beginning of transmission identifier. So, as you can see push to talk ID BOT stands for beginning of transmission. And as you heard, that was the beginning of transmission identifier. Next, we will test the end of transmission identifier. And for ID, this is KC3 CXP. So we'll change that to end of transmission, EOT. That's what that stands for. And so you heard nothing at the uh, beginning of the transmission. When I release the push to talk button, you will hear the A and I number being transmitted. Before, the, when you use beginning of transmission, it's the S code, the signal code that's transmitted. So this will be the A and I number. It also allows for you to do both beginning and end of transmission. This will transmit the signal code at the beginning of the transmission and the A and I number at the end of the transmission. And so there we heard the signal code at the beginning of the transmission and when I release the push to talk button it will transmit the A and I number. Now, you've been hearing both the scanner and the uh, Baofeng radio um, just playing the uh, DTMF tones through them. So I will turn off the scanner now. And so what you'll see is that the Baofeng radio is actually transmitting the DTMF sounds through its speaker when it's transmitting. Now that is a setting on the radio called DTMF ST, which I believe stands for DTMF Side Tones. So we will go ahead and turn that off and set the push to talk ID to beginning of transmission and transmit. Note that you didn't hear anything. But if I turn the scanner back on and not transmit right next to the speaker. And there you hear it through the scanner, but it's not coming out of the Baofeng speakers. So that's what the DTMF side tone setting is for. And if you uh, do it with end of transmission, it will sound, you'll, you won't hear anything then. Now one interesting thing to note is that if you're using beginning of transmission identifiers, does the microphone activate as soon as you press the push to talk button or does it activate after the tones are transmitted? And so we'll test that here. Right now the tones are not playing through the Baofeng speakers so the DTMAP DTMF ST setting is switched to off. The push to talk identifier setting is switched to beginning of transmission. And I will test it by blowing into the microphone, which if the microphone is muted, you will not hear coming out of the scanner while the tones are being transmitted. If the microphone is not muted, you will hear both the tones 
and the blowing through the microphone coming out of the scanner. There we go. Now you can hear the tones. I guess I was just blowing too hard in the microphone. So the microphone is not muted if the DTMF side tone setting is switched to off. So now we'll turn that on and see if it mutes the microphone. And now test it by blowing through the microphone again. As you heard there, it actually mutes the microphone if the side tone setting is turned on. Um, so uh, for ID, this is KC3CXP. And uh, I guess we'll now move on to comparing the two different side tone settings that I haven't gone through yet. First setting we have that I will go through. So when it says DT plus A and I, that means that dial tones from the keypad as well as the push to talk identifier will be played through the speaker while you're transmitting. If we set this to A and I ST, it will only play the push to talk ID through the speaker. If you press the push to talk button and press anything on the keypad, It'll transmit the tones, but it will not play them through the speaker. If we switch this to DTST, the push to talk ID will be transmitted, but not play through the speaker. But pressing the keypad while transmitting will play the dial tones through the speaker. And as we saw before, switching it to off means that none of those tones play through the speaker, but they are still transmitted. I like to leave this on all, because I like to hear what's being transmitted in case you bump a button or you leave a setting on when you don't intend to. Some final notes I should make. The, the A and I number, which you can find under the settings, it looks like a setting here, um, but you can't change it from the radio. You have to have a programming cable and do that through the computer software. Same codes, the signaling codes, they can be assigned on a per channel basis. The A and I number is global for the entire radio, so no matter what channel you're on, your A and I number will remain the same. However, S codes can be programmed per channel in the memory. You program 15, I think, yeah, 15 through the computer software. Um, so you need a programming cable to, to actually set the digits that are assigned to them. Um, but you can select from that list of 15 which one you want to be playing. And those can be any digit from 1 through 9, including the uh, A, B, C, D digits that you normally don't find on keypads. I think they correspond to the menu and arrows and exit when you're pressing the push to talk button if you're just doing the keypad operations.